on to a man ultimately killing him. All this happened last night along Northeast Whitaker Way near 138th, and that's where we find our reporter Lisa Balick this morning. Lisa, what do we know at this point? Alicia, it was a teenager who was crushed underneath that car out here near the airport. It was a 19-year-old who was working underneath a car at that auto body shop. When something happened, something went wrong, they believe perhaps they were doing repair work when a jack or a hydraulic lift suddenly failed. The car fell on the man crushing him. This happened about 8 o'clock last night. Firefighters were called to help, but it was too late to save the man. Federal safety investigators will be out there today along with police following up on this investigation. Live in Northeast Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Thank you for the update, Lisa. Meanwhile, developing this morning, police in Hawaii arrest a Marine in connection with the death of a Portland woman. Ivy Harris was killed while on vacation to celebrate her birthday last month. Police just arrested Nathaniel Cosby at the Honolulu airport yesterday. They've not yet revealed a possible motive, but coming up at 6.30, we're going to hear from one of Ivy's friends about that very arrest. And this morning, detectives search for a former track coach accused of having an inappropriate relationship with a student at Catlin Gable School. Deontay Huff was arrested last month and bailed out of jail, but now he's wanted on new felony charges involving minors. The Washington County Sheriff's Office says they believe that he may be preparing to flee, and they do have a warning for everyone this morning. If you see him, take a look. Do not approach him. He's considered dangerous. And Gresham detectives are also trying to track down a couple of men accused of distributing child pornography. A teacher at Centennial Middle School tipped them off to a video that she happened to see on a student's Facebook page. Nicholas Clisby and Terry Scott are accused of helping to make that video, and detectives think they are somewhere in North Portland. Fire crews are still searching.